What a good morning this is. Perfect for Tamara. I hope you're planning on making your bed. You know messiness is forbidden in this household. Of course, Mum. I'll be down as soon as I've sorted it, okay? That's my girl. Always making sure to lead by example to Dana and Leonard. Your father and I are very proud of you. Mum. What kind of daughter would I be if I didn't obey your rules? I know they're there because you love us. Your father and I love all three of you very much. And we want you all to grow up in a loving and caring household. And we are growing up in a loving and caring household. We have a wonderful mother and a fantastic father who'll do anything for us. Oh, you are so very sweet. I love you so much, my darling daughter. Come to mommy. I love and respect you with all my heart, mom. You and dad deserve all the love and respect in the world from all three of us. You are setting fine examples for Dana and Leonard, and I'm thrilled to see Leonard following them. I wish Dana would. Still being naughty, is she? Afraid so, and she won't stop. Not to worry, mom. If you want, I'll sit her down and have a talk with her about her behavior. And then we'll see if I can get her to stop being naughty all the time. Thank you, sweetheart. That would be very helpful. No problem. I'll leave you to get sorted now, my lovely daughter. See you at breakfast. See you at breakfast, mum. Now to make my bed, and then head down to breakfast. The thing is, Dana. Mum and Dad are at wit's end with your behavior. You're becoming too naughty for them to handle. And I think you know you're doing it. Tamara, I swear I don't know I'm being naughty. Oh, don't give me any of this. It just happens out of nowhere, or I'm asleep when it happens rubbish either. Because it is not going to work on me. You owe them better than this. Okay, how about this? I do it out of revenge. Come on now, Dana. These excuses are getting more and more ridiculous every time you come up with one. You're lying to me, and you know that perfectly well. How can you tell? Dana Luann Franklin. I know a lie when I hear one thank you very much. You tell lies all the time. You don't have a single honest bone in your body. The point is? The point is. You need to stop being naughty and start being good. All this naughty behavior isn't just driving mum and dad to breaking point, but it is also sending mixed messages to Leonard's brain getting him all confused over what's good and what's bad behavior. You're his other big sister, and you're setting a very poor example for him indeed. You're right, Tamara. I am setting a very poor example for Leonard. He needs both his big sisters to look out for him. Instead, he has one big sister who looks out for him, and one who bullies him and calls him names, just like I was doing at breakfast this morning. You know, Dana. It's not too late to change your attitude. Better now than when you're older. He's only in dad's den with him. Off you go and apologize, there's a good girl. Yes, Tamara. Thanks for helping me see sense. Dana, you're my little sister and I love you. Come here. I love you too, Tammy. Tammy? I like that. I'm off to help mum in the kitchen.